All right. Great. Well, first, thank you to the Tadpole team. It's really exciting to be here today with, with everybody um, on this remote conference. I, amazing attendance. Um, also really exciting to hear how Sezzle is trending in analytics. And it's not surprising. Um, across the board, buy now, pay later is really taking off um, exponential growth. And COVID has only accelerated that growth. So today I wanna to talk through why that is, um, a little bit about the demographic who uses buy now, pay later solutions. And then um, for you as a merchant, if you implement a buy now, pay later solution, what you could expect to see for results. So I'll start with this. The, the reason that buy now, pay later is taking off is really twofold. The first is consumer sentiment. Um, the millennial and Gen Z generations um, have a big fear of credit card debt. Their parents likely went through the global financial crisis and got into debt. Um, they probably have school debt that they're saddled with. And this fear of debt is, is a real thing for them. Um, they view credit cards as being predatory. They don't wanna get into trouble with credit cards. They don't wanna pay high interest rates. So this is actually kind of a crazy statistic um, from a CNBC study that was done where the millennial generation um, feared credit card debt more than things like dying and, and threat of war, which is pretty crazy. And I think part of it is probably because credit card debt maybe feels a little bit closer and, and more real to them um, than, than these other things, but um, still, still a pretty astounding statistic. The second reason why um, buy now, pay later is really taking off is because of a lack of access to credit. Post GFC global financial crisis, new legislation was introduced that made it illegal for credit card companies to market on college campuses. And it also changed the age that a young person can get a credit card from 18 to 21, unless their parents co-sign. And so because of these legislation changes, young people are entering the credit spectrum later and later in life. So it's no surprise that young people, millennials and Gen Zers have subprime credit scores. Um, many of them have no credit profile at all. And if they do have a credit profile, it's very thin and their FICO is low. And that really limits the amount of credit they can be approved for and the type of credit card that they're able to get. And why, why would a merchant care about this problem? Um, I think a big part of it is because you've got this giant cohort of shoppers who have very limited spending ability. They can only spend what they have in their bank account at that particular time. And this group represents $7.2 trillion in buying power. So another um, study that, that I wanna reference is the Center for Generational Kinetics. They're an independent research firm who surveyed all sorts of people, all ages and generations about payment preferences. And there are a lot of great statistics that came from that study. Um, but I think the most interesting thing is the head of the Center for Generational Kinetics at the end of this study concluded that within the next three years, he's expecting 95% of all online merchants to offer a buy now pay later solution. And the reason he's predicting that is because the consumer sentiment for having a different way to pay, a less predatory way to pay was so incredibly high. Um, and, and also looking at the number of retailers who are starting to, to offer these solutions, um, we believe that this is gonna be just as common as offering a credit card for payment. So based on consumer sentiment, uh, COVID where people really need to budget, uh, merchants who need to bolster their e-commerce sites because their brick and mortar stores are closed. It's, it's not a surprise that installments are the fastest growing payment in, in the US. Um, we're growing three times the rate of credit card payments. So now I'll talk a little bit about who Sezzle is. Um, Sezzle was founded because we feel that there is a, generational um, issue where 
millennials and Gen Zs have been left behind by the credit spectrum. They're not given good options to pay over time. And um, we wanna help these consumers. We're a very consumer driven organization. The solution that we offer is a buy now pay later solution where we're providing the consumer flexibility by allowing the shopper to break up their purchase into four interest-free installments. Um, Sezzle funds the purchase upfront in full. We assume all of the risk and liability for the transaction and we pay the merchant next day. We put a widget on the product display page and that's how we're able to drive conversions and increased average order values. As a consumer, a young consumer, you might be on a product display page and see a hundred dollar pair of boots and look at that and think, oh man, you know, I only budgeted $25 this pay period for boots. But then right below you see, or four equal payments of $25. And you think, wow, I actually can afford this. So your cart insertions are gonna go up. Not only that, you're potentially gonna buy a second pair or you're gonna buy the upgraded version. So that's a big part of how we're able to increase conversions and average order values. Um, for the consumer, based on consumer preference and um, the idea that a, a lot of the young shoppers out there don't want interest, they don't want credit checks, um, and they don't want any of the pitfalls that typically come with credit cards, we've really developed the most consumer-friendly solution on the market where we don't perform a hard credit check, we don't report to credit bureaus, we don't send shoppers to collections. So there's really no negative impact of using Sezzle for the shopper. If they don't pay us back, we simply shut them off and they can't use Sezzle again until they do pay us back. Our typical demographic um, is, is on the younger side, 75% of our total consumer base is either millennial or Gen Z. And that Gen Z number is increasing as, as the Gen Z population enters the workforce. And 90% of our transactions are via mobile checkout. So this is a generation that um, wants uh, ease of payment and they want what they want now. They're used to instant gratification in a way. And that's why I think um, these solutions are so powerful because that consumer doesn't want to wait for four pay periods to get that pair of boots. They want to be able to budget it responsibly over time. So as a merchant, what can you expect by implementing Sezzle or any buy now pay later for that matter? Um, with Sezzle specifically, really high approval rates. Um, we're using alternative data sources to approve shoppers. 15% of our shoppers have no credit profile at all. And we're still able to approve shoppers um, at checkout to, to budget that purchase over time. Our approval rates are the highest in the industry at 88%. Average, average order value lifts across Sezzle's 18,000 or so merchants are about 22%. Um, and our average share of checkout is 14%. We've done a lot of studies on with that share of checkout, how much of that is incremental sales versus cannibalization of sales you may have gotten anyways with credit card purchases or, or other options. And through A-B tests and some of the platforms where we can see both Sezzle checkout data and non-Sezzle checkout data, we're confident that 85% of that 14% should be incremental sales that, that you wouldn't have gotten anyways. Um, the other really interesting side effect of a buy now pay later is fewer returns. Our merchants are seeing 50% fewer returns with Sezzle shoppers. Um, we think that a lot of this has to do with a decrease in buyer's remorse because most um, shoppers will return a product within the first couple weeks of getting that product. At this stage um, in their payment cycle, they've only paid 25% of the total purchase price. So the benefit or reward of returning just isn't as great. Um, the other thing that I wanna point out is repeat users. Sezzle's got uh, over 3 million users and 86% of them are repeat users. So we have a very loyal user base that looks to Sezzle and looks to our store directory for discovery to find new merchants where they're able to stretch their payments out. Um, so that, that's all I had today, you know, just in summary, why it's taking off. I, I think it's both consumer sentiment and lack of access to credit. 
who uses it, it is primarily going to be your millennial and Gen Z population. You will find some, um, some other generations, Gen X are using it, but probably a lot less so. Um, the results are are pretty amazing just by putting a buy now pay later on your site. So long as you have that widget on your product display page, you can see you know pretty quickly about a 12% increase in incremental sales.